everybody. Johnny B here. Just taking you through a little ESO with my character. Uh, the one thing I just wanted to show everybody that I thought was really cool, um, there's this add-on called Item Trick, and you can get it using Minion. Um, if you don't know anything about that kind of stuff, I can go do another video. Uh, but I just wanted to show off this add-on called Item Trick. And what it lets me do is create these triggers that will let me automatically destroy items or automatically deposit them in the bank or uh, automatically deconstruct them if I am at an enchanting table. Uh, it does. You can do all sorts of things. It's kind of limitless, and that's why I like this one because you can really dial it in and set it up the way you want it to be. So that way, every single station you go visit, it's automatically depositing, deconstructing, and doing everything. So you don't have to go in and individually do it. It's great if you love dungeon running and you just want to just run the dungeon, come out, drop the thing off, and then go into another dungeon and then repeat. Um, that's pretty much what this is for. It's for just like massive farming. Um, anyways, let me get into showing you. So you got your add-ons and here I got one called Item Trick. And like I said, you can install this using Minions. Highly recommend it. Let's go into this section and then you click on the button and it's going to show you this. So each one of these, all the triggers that I've created for just this character. So just as a description, let's just, so for example, let's say we open up a bank and every time you open up, every time I open up the bank, this is what's going to happen right here in this list. So the first thing, it's going to look to see if there's uh, raw materials for clothing. And if there is, then it's going to deposit all of them. The next thing it'll do, it's going to look for a uh, bunch of style materials. If I have style materials, it's going to deposit them. So I go down the list here, you know, it's going to look for furnishing, enchanting stuff, and there you go, it's going to deposit it. So I got it set up, so it's just looking for a bunch of specific stuff that I want to drop in my bank, and it's just dropping in there automatically. So all this stuff, these are all individual uh, triggers that I that I programmed and made to do this. So you can see, it's I have it so it's putting away all my runes, all my materials, uh, you know, everything. So here's uh, one for item added. So every time I get, so say I'm in a dungeon, I'm fighting stuff and I'm killing stuff, this is what it's going to do. These are the kind of rules it has in place for that. So say I pick up a potion, it's like, Screw this. Destroy the stack of the potions. So now I'll never have to worry about potions again. I mean, yeah, you know, all this money and blah, 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 and you can use potions for this and that, but I don't care, all right? No, you don't need potions. I don't want potions. Gone. Yay out of there. So no more potions. I love that. I can do it with poisons. So you see I got poisons. So if I pick up a poison, psh, deleted. See you later. Um, armor without trace. This is a, this is actually a cool one that I made. Uh, I got it set up so any armor that is not that is not an armor trait that doesn't have any armor traits gets thrown into my junk area. And I like that one because I kind of narrowed it down exactly what I want. Destroy raw jewelry. Yeah, I mean, I got all sorts of stuff because I don't want to. I don't have the uh, uh, Clockwork City expansion, so um, I can't do anything with uh, jewelry. So I just, just throw it away once again. Yes, I know I'm stupid for throwing away all the stuff because I can sell it to people and this and that, but I don't care. All right, I'm just making this video so you guys know about item trig and uh, can make your own item triggers for your own character and have it set up exactly the way you want it instead of installing somebody's add-on and it kind of does what you want but then it, it deletes all this weird stuff that you don't want it to do so I just wanted to share this with you guys uh, and also show you an example that it works so I got all these in here uh, let's look at my inventory and you can see I got a bunch of leather uh, turpin stuff that it should drop into my inventory automatically so let's just go ahead and do that and see if it drops it automatically. So I'm going to walk over here to the bank. 
very slowly. I could and the minute I open, does. it should have dropped it all. So if I go to deposit and look at my materials again, yeah, there you can go. There you go. You can see that it it dropped some stuff in there. But you know what? It didn't drop everything in there that I wanted. So I'm kind of understand. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. So it didn't drop the turpin, and it's got to drop the turpin in there. So I'm gonna have to go in there and make one for the turpin. So this is a good example of uh, of making one. So let's make one for resin woodworking. So in order to make an item trigger to automatically drop the resin, I am going to go into item trigger like I showed you. So you go into your settings, add-ons, item trig, item triggers, and you just do new right here. And you have to select it in here anyways. It doesn't matter if you select it on that left side first. You got to do it here again anyway. So. Select bank open. So every time the bank is opened, now you're gonna say when the bank is opened, look for. Now we're gonna look for resin. And in here, the best thing to do is actually use item type detailed because this has the best selection of all the items. In our case, we're looking for. Uh, see, whoops. We're looking for resin. Probably going the wrong way. Yeah. Sometimes the names are a little, you know, different, so you gotta kinda pay attention and look instead of just going exactly what you think it is. Resin. Haha! <laughs> I guess I could have just gone to resin, so <laughs> I retract my statement. But most of the time, I swear, you you go to where you think it's going to be by the name exactly, and usually there's like another name in front of it, and you don't, it's not in alphabetical order like you think. So, Anyways, I got it. There we go. New. And now... Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, what am I doing? Okay, I'm just making sure I didn't... I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to describe this stuff. So, in this trigger, so basically what I'm doing, I got entry points. So, when the bank is open, opened, then it triggers this trigger, alright? And then I'm saying, when if there's any resin in my inventory, then, action, deposit as much as you can into the bank. And then I say, and then I like to name these two. So I'll say, uh, deposit resin. So we'll call it deposit resin. There we go. It's in the list. Now, when I go visit the bank, it should deposit the resin automatically the just by engine. opening it. So boom, it should have deposited it. And if it didn't, I'm gonna look really stupid. Okay, there we go. You see, it deposited automatically. So now I know every time I get that, it's going to drop it. So I'm going to need to make one for armor trade, too. Let's go ahead and do that again just to get the practice so you guys really understand how to use this item trick. Like I said, it's very powerful. It's more powerful than I think a lot of players know. So that's why I'm making this video about it. So that was armor trade, right? I already forgot. Yeah, armor trait. Okay, so let's do one for armor trait. Settings, add-ons, item trick. Like I said, you can pick it over there, but it doesn't matter, so you can always just do new and then select it here. Okay, so I check my items open. Go to specific item or detailed item type. And weapon trait. There we go. Weapon trait. So when you, if you get any weapon traits in your if or if you have any weapon traits in your inventory, then go to deposit. Deposit all of them into the bank. Very simple but powerful. This 
item trig program is, or add-on is. So let's call this one uh, weapon tree. Okay. So we got that all set up. Say okay. There it is. Close it out, and let's go make sure it's depositing our weapon tray automatically. You look a bit. Oh, there we go. Let's see if she did it. And oh, oh, because it's an armor trait. <laughs> That's why we're doing it. The, there you go. You know, don't freak yourself out. Like, oh, it didn't work. It's because you did weapon trait, not armor trait. But I had to do that anyway. I'm pretty sure. So let's go back in there. Settings. Add on the triggers. Bank opened. Let's see here. Is it weapon trait? You know, I'm like, did I already have one for weapon trait? Let's double. Yep, see, I do. I didn't have one for armor trait. So what I can do is I can go in here and edit this one. And change it to armor trait. That way I don't have to re remake it. Uh, oh. There we go. Easy peasy. Name it. Closet. Armor trait. Okay, all everything matches up. I mean, that's why I'm not a coder, you know. I will make mistakes like that and make an entire, oh, don't mind the big you know, of stone page of code not work because I totally safe. Lord to that. Anyways. Oh, sounded like it worked. And, yep, there we go. So now it's going to deposit my armor traits along with my weapon traits. Now, let's see here. We got leathers and clothing stuff. I do kind of feel that I should have it depositing this stuff because I am kind of collecting it. Now, I am all heavy armor because I'm a, a hybrid sorcerer tank, but... That doesn't mean I won't make items for other people being, you know, level 50 and all my crafting stuff, so. Alright. Let's make one for that. I mean, if I'm going to make a video about item trick, I might as well just completely bore you to death. You know, I might as well. So let's go ahead and make one for... Wait, what is it that we wanted to make it for? Material clothing. Okay, so material clothing and material woodworking. Let's do material clothing first. Alright, like I said, just do new. Pick it here. Alright, then we're looking for item detailed. Go. Um, like I said, doesn't like I'm looking for material, but I don't know if it'll show up exactly like that. I just don't think it will. Yeah, I didn't think so. This is where I was talking about where things get named a little different. So you kind of, kind of look through it a little more. It's not furnishing material. Raw material. Yeah, you know what? I think that it, that is what this one's for. I think it's raw material for clothing. Or is it refined material? Buying? Selling? I've got what you need. I think that's refined material, actually. I've got what you need. Well, you know what? I'm gonna pick refined clothing material, and then if I screw up, I'll come back and change it. Right? Right. Sounds good. Pause it. Refined material. Clothing. 
No. Deposit in bank. As many as you can. Okay. Let's let's just go look, you know, because I could have just picked the wrong thing. No, oh, that does look right. Because this is refined. So, okay, these two items drop now. Let's double check and make sure. Oh, don't mind the big. Sounded like it did something. And big bam, there we go. All right, so now we just got to make one more to automatically drop off all of our wood material. And this is refined wood material. So, let's set one up for refined wood material. Okay, no. Bank opened. Item detailed. And then it was towards the bottom. Those refined material. Woodworking. Go. Set it to the positive. Can always name your triggers. I mean, you can just keep them all the same name if you want, but when you go back to edit, you're gonna have a hell of a time knowing what what's what. Especially when you make like 20, 30, 100 of them. material woodworking. Let's verify once again that it is woodworking material. Yes, it is. Okay, so it should deposit it automatically. The Red Mountain. And did it do it? Yep, there we go. Alright, so that's all I really wanted to show you guys. I am going to do another video on how to, uh, you know, do some other stuff. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Until then, peace out, Johnny B, ESO, item trig add-on, awesomeness.